Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is by far my favorite Mario Kart game of all time, and I don't think that will ever change. There's so much to love about this game, and I'll go through a lot of it in this video. So without further ado, let's get into why Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is amazing. This is the ultimate Mario Kart experience, and there's really no doubt about it. There's 96 tracks. How much more do you need? This game controls by far the best out of any Mario Kart game. Drifting feels incredible tricking feels impactful but not broken like in Wii and controlling the vehicles feels very satisfying. And that's the thing, the racing engine in this game is so good that it honestly makes every track enjoyable to some extent and that really can't be said for any other Mario Kart game. The character roster is gigantic, there's over 50 characters here and there's a lot of fan favorites here like Yoshi, Drybone, Shy Guy, Birdo, Pauline and of course Funky Kong. The track selection is easily the best the series has seen. There's Shy Guy Falls, Electrodrome, Cloudtop Cruise, Wildwood, Superbell Subway, Sunshine Airport, Big Blue, I could keep going. And of course, don't forget about Mount Wario, easily the best track in the franchise, and you cannot change my mind on that. The fact you're racing down an entire snowy mountain, icy cavern, a freaking dam, and a ski slope is super fun, and I didn't even mention all of it. And I didn't even mention the DLC tracks, like Coconut Mall, 3DS Rainbow Road, Maple Treeway, Yoshi's Island, Waluigi Stadium, Moonview Highway, Squeaky Clean Sprint, Koopa Cape, DK Mountain, and Wii Rainbow Road. There's so many fan favorites and it's great. And of course, don't forget about the city tracks. The changing layout gimmick is a very neat one, and yes, some of them are quite lame, like Tokyo, New York, Paris, and Sydney, but a lot of them are great, like Amsterdam, Athens, LA, Rome, and Madrid. The soundtrack of this game is easily the best in the series. There's a lot of detailed and memorable compositions and a lot of it is recorded with live instruments making it sound even better. For all the flack the battle mode gets, it's actually pretty darn good. You get to pick between 5 modes, a bunch of settings and some really good battle stages. And yes, there's a forced time limit and respawning, but the mode itself is a bunch of fun and really well balanced. Most of the tracks in this game look so good. Of course you have stinkers like Rock Rock Mountain, Shroom Ridge and Toad Circuit, but then you have Electrodrome, Wildwood, Sherbet Land, N64 Raymond Road, Raymond Road, Waluigi Stadium, I could literally keep going for most of these tracks. The added jukebox mode is very cool, since it lets you play any song in the game from any of the 96 race courses, even including each variant. For example, you can listen to the normal version for 3DS Raymond Road, but also the Moon variant. Wiggler is just the best. I mean, just look at him when you trick off something. He even gets angry. It's so cool. I love 200cc. It's by far my favorite mode because it takes a lot of skill to drive on each track while being very fun to play. And all the tracks are actually quite manageable if you've played them enough times. The item balancing is really good and by far the best in a series. It never really feels unfair when you get hit by an item and due to how the coin item works, it's a lot more strategy based than past Mario card games. And you can even customize the item roster using the custom items feature. Hate them coins? Well, you can turn them off. Squeaky Clean Sprint is one of the best and most original Mario Kart tracks ever made. The theme is incredibly cool and the track design is phenomenal. There's a lot of split paths and many bathroom elements like sponges, a giant ducky, bath bombs and much more. I'm sorry Yoshi's Island fans, but Squeaky Clean Sprint rules. Wildwoods is so underrated. It's such a fun track and it incentivizes speed the entire time, and it's one of the most gorgeous tracks in the entire game. It's such an underrated gem. The final staff roll for the Booster Course Pass is so cool. It even has a nice medley of several Tour City soundtracks, like Tokyo, Sydney, Singapore, and more. Alright, but that was it for this video. There's not really a lot more to say without repeating what I said. This game is amazing, and it will always be my favorite Mario Kart game. But let me know what you love about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.